So we're at the end of 2018. And uh, in pure Brian fashion, I actually had a good 17 minutes going of this out with it. But uh, lo and behold, I seemingly have accidentally clicked on my mouse, my mouse on the record button. So I'm just going to... It feels weird having to cut one in the middle and splice it instead of everything, especially since I kind of lost my train of thought. But I will try again. We're at the end of 2018, and the reason I, I usually kind of bundle this within my clip show because, um, you know, it kind of provides bookends to all the moments that happened within, you know, in the channel. I didn't do that this year because I went into, I went into this year or went into this year's clip show thinking that I wouldn't have a lot. I thought it'd be drastically shorter than last year's, which was a good 24 minutes of stuff. And I, I was, I was wrong in a lot of ways. Uh, I was wrong, uh, thinking that, you know, this year was a loss in a way, but I want to explain to you or at least explain to my future self why I was thinking this way in 2018. 2018, I guess, for all intents and purposes, wasn't a great year for me. Uh, and it wasn't a great year for a lot of people. And I think we all kind of had our trials and tribulations, uh, some harder than others. And I, I never go into this um, wanting to make, you know, my problems be, like, seem bigger than anybody else's. They are distinctly mine. 2018 was my relapse. Uh, I haven't been to therapy since 2016. And, but, you know, those lessons have stayed with me and I've been continuing to change and to be able to handle different things that have been going on um, since, I, since I've seen Dr. Selm. But this year was sort of everything. Uh, I, it's this thing where I know how I react in different situations. But instead of solving that, I would, I would like, I would hinder myself. I would, um, sabotage myself. And I guess 2018 was a lot of mental sabotage. You let me talk about a lot of things in video when it comes to um you know mental troubles uh sociological troubles troubles in groups troubles dealing with um you know my my community or other broadcasters because i had a lot of trouble with that this year um i started off the year pretty on a pretty high note because i you know, we were coming off of um, an amazing 2017. Highest number. You know, I knew that number was going to fade because of, you know, gift subs being gift subs. Um, but something more than that happened. And I think it was a mixture of jealousy uh, of, of the successes that people were having. And, you know, I, I was just there. I was a zombie, I guess, for the first couple of months of the year after... Um, after I, you know, had a good start with um, a couple of visual novels and and Horizon Zero Dawn and like things kind of, you know, I had my pattern system uh, that kind of went to the wayside. Didn't kind of didn't quite work out because I kind of locked myself into a um, into a rhythm that I didn't like. Um, I felt like I was losing my place in the fourteen community, um, which was my really only identifying mark at that point. And uh, that's sort of one of the pillars of this video. There are a couple, if I can remember them. Um, my learnings. One of them being that, you know, I'm, I don't really, like, I play a lot of one or two or three games, depending. Um, but I don't really identify by those games anymore. And I think a lot of these things were done for my own sake, even if it kind of um, works against what I should be doing for the channel. Um, another one is going back to the, the whole jealousy part. Um, I think I had kind of viewed every, everybody, all my peers as demons to be jealous of in some way. And, you know, this is all obviously again, um, personal views of, you know, my, 
uh, my own lack of performance or my own lack of results. Uh, we had set two goals going into 20, uh, 2018 this year. Um, one of them we did hit because of the wonderful reception to Ava um, a couple months ago. The other one we haven't managed to hit, and I honestly don't know if we'll ever hit it from a from a like a long term standpoint. The other one was um having having a hundred concurrent viewers, average. Um. Yeah, I I, I it's <laughs> it's been tough because you know trying to get a handle of how you handle yourself. Thirty five years old, turned thirty five this year, and like sometimes I feel like a you know, my 13 year old step self, my 13 year old st self stepping into the halls of Bridgewater Raritan High School for the first time and getting culture shock because I see people like that look like me when I was when I grew up in a predominantly white community. Um, not really being able finding my own little group of friends um, that I would we would gather around a pole every morning and it was like the seventh pole from the right of one of the buildings always that same pole no matter rain shine snow blizzard i feel like i had to do that with twitch this year um and it you know it's my fourth year my four almost my fourth full year of being partnered all my partner anniversaries in in january it it i i have people will ask me like oh what do you need to do to get to your point i'm like introspect a lot hate yourself some pick yourself up learn learn why you act in a way it's not all business it's like this is a job this is a career but it's also a, a mental a mental olympics olympics worth of mental hurdles that you have to climb over jump over um a lot of it alone a lot of it silently because you know everybody has it differently everybody has a different situation and uh, i was you know a bit depressed for most for a good part of the year because i just didn't feel like i fit in anymore i wanted to quit right before ava was announced even after we started working on it i, I hit a couple of weeks and it was in august or july where like i i hated being on Twitter, I hated the game. I hated everything that you know. I wasn't having fun anymore. I had to remove myself from that, and I think the the second pillar of it is being removing myself to work on myself because there's that saying where you can't you can't love others until you learn to love yourself. I think a lot of that this year has been true for me. Um, I've been working a lot on myself and I'm working a lot on being comfortable in my own shoes, being comfortable in this chair, being comfortable streaming and not having to apologize if I haven't played 14 in a while or if I've been playing too much Destiny or if I haven't played so-and-so game. Because like if I if I have to keep compromising who I am and what I'm comfortable with, there's no way I can be comfortable with a Brian who is not that way or who can work themselves up to being that way or Brian that can fit into the greater community. I'm, I'm very like, I, I would think of myself as a likable person and I, and I am, I, I, I do like, I'm very personable with a lot of people. And I've had to learn like, you know, frequency of conversation doesn't necessarily equal one thing or another there's always that thing where it's like oh i you know you should have reached out to me or whatever it's like that the lack of action on my part a lot of this comes back to lack of something or doing too much of something on, on my part that i've been trying to change pulling myself out of the community pulling myself off of twitter um hasn't hurt me at all and i mean i've done it it's the second year that i've kind of pulled myself off for a bit and uh you know i i still i still read it on a on a occasional basis and I haven't you know I just don't take part in the the day-to-day -day sort of tweet bits where you know I'm trying to look slit look like some motivational like 
something that I'm not. On a medium that I don't think fits. Like, I can't say this stuff in 280 characters. I can't say, you know, deal with yourself. It'll get better. You know, um, work on work on yourself by challenging your the status quo. You know, it's like I can't <laughs> I can't come up with. Tweets. I am a I am a long form, rambling person. Pillar three of this has been not by pulling myself out. I've been learning to just be comfortable and not conforming with the game that is this industry. Whether or not that actually affects my channel positively or negatively or affects my experience, like what what's most important to me is I want to be able to look in 2024 or whenever I move on from this, I'm just estimating 10 years because I wanted to do content creation for the next 10 years, right? Because I did web design for 10 to 12 years. So say we do this for 10 years. I want to be able to look back and one, see like discernible difference between how I was, how I am that new in the future and how I am now. And that I did it to my spec. I think a lot of my problem over the past, like, I want to be liked. <laughs> I want to be like, I've always wanted to just be liked. I, I, I hate feeling left out. I hate FOMO. I hate all of those. Like I, I, I am a person, an ambivert that really loves like constant interaction, but like meaningful, what meaningful interaction, like. I wasn't finding that or I would find it at like TwitchCon or, or, um, fan fest. So, you know, I've been doing, you know, I, 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 like I was saying, I don't want to apologize for playing what I want to play, even though it affects things, even though it affects my, my, my daily numbers or whatever. It's like, you know, maybe I am playing the 10 year game. Maybe it never happens, but maybe I'm okay with that. I should be okay with that. And I've been learning to be okay with that. Like I, you know, it's, it's, it's a different type of not looking at your numbers. It's a different type of not looking at your metrics because like you feel like you're on a good path and you should keep feeling that if you are, on, if you feel like you're on a good path and you're moving forward and all of a sudden a comparison comes up because you don't think you should be doing as well as you should because somebody else with completely different with a completely different situation, completely different, like, you know, everything from looks to voice to, to gender to what they wear to their style to everything else, like, is different than you. You can't, I can't compare my for, my Final Fantasy fourteen cast to another. You want that cast, you want to change the channel to mine, if you're flicking through your Twitch TV and you land on mine, then great. It's like if you prefer Dancing with the Stars to the Home Shopping Network. Home Shopping Network isn't looking at Dancing with the Stars and saying, oh my God, what can we do? I mean, granted, there are a lot of people out there that do that. Reality TV, I mean, look at that. It's all one big, like, what can I do? What, how can we take this and make this the, you know, the survivor of blank? But from a macro point of view... Being comfortable doing what you do and being comfortable with the experience that you can look back, you know, and that you could say, I spent all of this time doing what? I spent all of my web design career, like, yeah, we, we, we pushed the envelope with web standards. We trained programmers to know what design is like to understand designers. You know, I, I tried helping, I tried to help push the notion of a hybrid and that we exist and that we should be, we should be respected. It wasn't a waste of 12 years. Granted, there are companies I kind of wish I had either worked there longer or, you know, people I wish I had worked for and didn't. Yeah, those are the little things. That's like, oh, I wish I was, ha I had like a hundred, a hundred concurrent viewers versus only having 40 or 50 you know, but like our numbers are our numbers. Our numbers are where they are. And, you know, granted that, you know, what do I want? I've had a lot of great opportunities at, 
you know, at FanFest. I, I, I know a lot of amazing people, and I've been pu pushing myself in a direction that optimizes, that focuses on and, and works on those relationships, the ones that will that will make me just feel fulfilled that I'm doing something that matters to myself, to the people around me. For numbers or or anything like that. But I mean, I still care about those things. It's hard not to. Like if anybody says they actually don't care about their numbers, there's something missing in that equation. Whether it's personal, professional, or otherwise. Something they're not telling you is what I would think. It's been a lot of this, 2018. It's been a lot of this, and I've talked for another like 16 minutes about it. But like it's like I think it's been working. You know, I, I, I think I think it's been working in a way that, you know, I, I I take it from other people and you know, I have my I have my relapses, but you know the path up is just a series of cycles that happen to get better as you go up. It's not a straight line. <laughs> it's not even a wiggly line. You're you're gonna repeat your mistakes over and over and over again, and you're just gonna get over them faster. There's going to be that that block roadblock that you hit. And then all of a sudden, everything will click. Sometimes it takes being hurt. Sometimes it takes being put in a situation that you don't want to be put in to drive it in your head that this is the way that you want things to be, that this, this is the way the things should be. And then that that changes the base like 2019, 2020, 2021, is my base different than it was the year before? Is it in a better place? Is my foundation, going back to what Dr. Salm talked about in the past, my foundation, the foundation of one of my relationships were broken. Doesn't matter how well it was doing on a daily basis. Doesn't matter if it was doing that for 500 days. The foundation wasn't good. Something's going to quake that up and break that foundation. Everything's going to come come crumbling down. My 2018 has been working on that foundation and I'm still working on it. This isn't a mission accomplished. Like little little battles in the big war. I may have made some deci some decisions. I may have talked to people in some ways. I haven't talked to people in th those ways before, but if anything, like a lot of what I've been seeing let's take like, you know, ninja advertising on Twitch for instance. If that had never happened, we would never know how we'd react to it. It sucks that it's happened. I mean, granted, it's happened in the past with other broadcasters, but you know, people are taking in different ways. You're seeing parody videos, but you're also seeing like real discussion and about things like that. And if we don't run into these things, if we don't call people out, if we don't, um, we don't try and work on ourselves when we run into these things. Instead, instead, fall into this constant loop, then you can never make that trip up. And that's what I'm trying to do slowly. And maybe my friend networks will be different in the next year. You know, I'm I'm putting a lot of focus into like visiting people. Like I'm going to I'm going to go to PAX East, not the actual conference, but to see people. Like AVLN, my Crusaders. I'm going to SGDQ to do the same thing. I'd love to head to Toronto and actually like even though I haven't been really playing Warframe lately, to just be able to see people in Toronto through Tenocon. Prioritization. It's not like, oh, I should go to TwitchCon and do this. It's like, I want to go to TwitchCon because it serves as a vessel for me to accomplish a goal I have. That's sort of the way I'm approaching this year. And if it's, if I can, <laughs> if I go back a year and watch another video and I'm saying the same thing, maybe I'm still stuck in my own cycle. What I, what I can say, though, to kind of finish this up before I start going into a cycle with this. 2018 got a lot better. It got a lot better because of a lot of things. Um, personal things. Things that have been happening with, um, you know, with, um, you know, my immediate family. Um, the introduction of Ava. TwitchCon. Um, FanFest. Seeing, like my close friends and my, my staff for the first time in years. 
brought so much warmth to my heart and like it it showed me what i was missing by not going to any by by intentionally not going into to any conferences this year besides those two um you know going to you know mexico and seeing hello team there um doing rpg madness with spoonie and you know building nakama from the ground up with with spoonie slackaholicus and an expensive gamer um you know, a lot of that has just been focusing on the relationships that I can and like do do value and know that those that value is, you know, uh, returned genuinely, sincerely, equally. Twenty nineteen is going to be a completely different year. And part of me is a little bit apprehensive <laughs> and how much is going to happen um, and how fast it's going to happen. We might be making, I might be, ma uh, bl uh, I'll blink and another one of these will have to be made because we'll be at the end of 2019. But all I know is that a lot of different things are going to happen. And uh, a lot of, you know, I, I've been put to the, put to the, you know, put to the test want to keep the promises I made with the with the um, sub goals that we've that we've hit um, I want to somehow get to 30 emotes I want to somehow actually get to 100 concurrence I'd like to somehow visit be able to visit everybody do IRL casts um, you know be more mobile be more be more fun be more interactive be more like me be more me without the without the wall but also be more like effective as a community head and you know somebody that you know takes that values the lives and the and and the and the the mental like the mental lives physical lives mental lives of the people he's around like if you poured if you've poured time into me, then I can only hope to do the same. And uh, a lot of a lot of this, and I've been getting better at this. With I guess one of my wins of twenty eighteen was actually asking people to remind me of things. So I'm gonna have to have you guys remind me of this. I remember in a situation that you know where I'm going through one of the lulls in my cycles that I need to pull myself out of. I need your help. I'll need your help. I'm asking for your help. Um, because I, I, I require it. I can't do this alone. And I haven't been doing this alone. And you guys have helped change me in, in, in ways, uh, and you know who you are. You know, you've, you've given me a home. You've given me friendship. You've given me camaraderie. Um, and I hope I can, you know, continue to do, to do the same in a manner that's true to me. Like this out with it. As long as it is. And so we end 2018, yeah, we do. One hell of a year in, in many different ways for many different people, for myself. And I hope that 2019 is even better. I know it will be for me, just right off the bat. Um, and I hope it is for you too. And, uh, I hope that I can, you know, thank, I, I'll, I'll thank you for allowing me to continue to be a part of your life. Whether you watch this, whether you've gotten this far or not, no, I hope you'll know somehow that, you know, how much I value your company, you know, whenever I get to see you and, uh, value how much your support means to me so that I can just sit here for 25 minutes and, and rattle off about growth, challenges, and things of that nature. There are a lot of things I'm going to promise and a lot of things that I want to do, but I, I, I do still hope that I'll do these videos. And, you know, if you, I guess I'll do that thing. If you liked it, I'll ask you to, you know, share a piece of it, make a timestamp, share a little bit if there's a phrase that you liked. Uh, or, or a bunch of phrases or something that you want to remember or share with somebody else, do so. Um, 
your comments and your you know your support is always appreciated uh i am who i am and i will continue to be that and i will hope and i hope you guys will challenge me to be a better version of me as we go forward into next year but for me and from all of i guess all of us here in my family at avalon star my crusaders everybody else if you got to the end of this video and even if you didn't i hope you have a wonderful new year and uh i hope all of your resolutions all of your your dreams and wishes and your you know all of your hopes i hope you can work towards them and make them happen because i know you can because at least you'll know somebody sitting here in this chair is trying to do the same thing take care